Hello and welcome. I am Flash Ranger and this is Capture the Flag. So, jumping into this uh, match here. Uh, we are into the ESM tournament. On red side, we have. Who do we have? We have COE, COE team, which is a Spanish team. And on the blue four side, blue side, we have UNA, which is a European uh, mixed mixed country team. Uh, this is the semi-final of the ESM uh, tournament. Uh, so we're going to jump in and follow a few players and see how those two teams manage and how the match ends up. Wow. Wow. Okay, we've got straight shots coming from grenade launchers. Oh, little disconnect here from uh, Chris. Guess he's just going to hop in again. Hopefully for the Una team. Okay, Koei team is uh, occupying building buildings. Shots fired. Call is. Uh, gets Frankie down. I've got two blue flanking and getting shot by one red over there. Let's take a plain view here. I've got a pretty big offensive positions here by the blue four and one up four uh, moving in. Let's see what goes in there. Right, good defense here by blue, by red team. Looks like they start in uh, yeah, pretty defensive positions, and that red four was taken down. But it's a flag touch for the red four. Oh no, it was a, a flag touch. Sorry for uh, blue four, and red flag was a. Uh, returned. Got some friendly fire here on, on red uh, team. Let's jump in with uh, Nick on blue team. Looks like he's a defensive player here. Well, in a defensive position at least. Got Flank, uh, Frankie coming in. Probably going to encounter that defensive position here. Oh, nice shot by Frankie. He saw that. I think he got him from the from the window here. Blue four still uh, moving in a, a very offensive position, and the and the, the red four still have one player rushing in. but the rest of the team looks like it's holding back into a very defensive position probably a good thing because the Una really look like they want to uh, to capture that red flag Gringo is probably going to get into a sandwich here Pumata in his rear and nah it's okay his front oh two players here Nice shot, Gringo. Come on. Now he needs to uh, move in, and he's supported by Carlos. And it'll be a, f a second flag touch. Second flag touch by uh, Blue Team. Yeah, Gringo has support here. I think Pumata is is uh, rushing down the the street to uh, to get to him. Nah, he was intercepted. Yep, 
Yeah, he's got his plays uh, covering his retreat pretty well. Carlos, Carlos and Harry really supporting him, and he's going to get that flag back to score, and it will be a blue point. Right, blue point one point for Una team. Two flag touches by Una. Really looks like the, the Una team has a superiority here. A very offensive positions. Strategy at least. And that was a good grenade launcher here. Taking down Andu. Oh, bit of lag here. Oh yeah. Bit of lag. Still see like uh Sparko could could move in a bit further, but the rest of the team isn't really moving in. Doesn't have the support here. And the Una team is, is really like pushing in from all sides, giving some very bad uh times to, to the uh red defense. Looks like Sparko saw that he was uh, he was taken down by Chris. Oh, that was long shots across the windows. Oh no, it was a friendly fire. Wickbone. Looks like he, he is that. That must have been his second friendly fire. Collis is probably going to get taken down. Oh yeah, by Frankie. I was I was going to. Uh, bet on on Pumata, but no, Frankie. Right, we've got two blue plays running in the kennel here. Lots of shot rounds, of of rounds shot. Sorry. Look like these two players, two blue players, are really. Playing hide and seek, and Andrew is probably, yeah, he's going to get shot down here. Harry looks like he's trying to wait for his pals and prevent the red team to uh, to move in. Yeah, very defensive positions here by by Redford, but uh, they're not taking enough space. I think they're all in the same place. would take only one play to flank them and wow that was a whole magazine by Carlos here and a grenade launched he knows the the flag is just behind probably going to no didn't take it right there's still some big defense here even though he's uh, on his own yeah oh right in front of him Pumata and Frankie still uh, still in, in very big defensive positions here. Harry and Chris are just in front of the flag. Oh, nice shot by Harry. He knows there's someone in. Okay, now he knows where he is. He knows he can't go through here. And he's on his own. 
Nice grenade here by Andu. Oh, Harry is going to encounter some uh, fires here. Oh no, he's in the in the next uh, room here. Got Andu probably trying to flank through the canal. Nice shots by Harry. He's really holding that position in here. And it'll be a flag touch. Yeah, flag, uh, I think it's the third flag touch by Blue, Blue Team. So just so you remember, um, the objective here is to score a maximum of points by capturing, oh, Carlis tried but got shot down, by trying uh, to capture the flag, the enemy flag, and bringing it back to the friendly flag. If, if it's a draw, then it's... <clears throat> it's the um, flag touches that would count. So the more flag touches they can do, the better. Let's go into a plain view again here. See how teams are doing. I've got a red for pushing in on his own, but that's the problem. He's on his own. No team here to support him, and he's going to, yeah, get shot down by, by the defense, as all the defense is in defense. As all the red for, sorry, is in defense. Got Pumata in that house. He knows he's got the best defensive positions here. Yeah. That's that's a very good defensive position. He's got a second blue four. See blue four keep coming in. Oh, due to a bit of lag. Right, Chris got shot down. Grenade on the roof. Carly's coming in again. Nice shots by Carlis. Got Andu. So still that strategy of one man pushing in. He could have done a flag touch here if he had been a bit more quick I think because he's gonna get a oh no 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 blue for in, in sight so he can oh yes he had a defensive blue here nice one by Nick so no flag touch for uh, red for and I think another uh, another flag touch for blue So clearly, if uh, if this ends up in a draw, uh, Blue Four will win the match. Got that carbiner over there shooting very far away, but really preventing new up fours from from coming in to that defensive position. See Collis over there. Collis up there on the board is still leader of uh, of this match with 11 shot, 11 shots. Sorry. Oops.
Okay, looks like Sparko is now trying to to flank. Looks like they, they all take uh turns to try and, and and go into their defense. He knows there's someone here. As Gringo too. Ooh <laughs> nice flying uh buddy here. Uh but Gringo knew there was somebody and was waiting into the uh bushes. Yeah, Red for keeps getting uh oppressed, I'd say. Oh, Pumata is going to get Yeah, Gringo knew he was in there. Clearly, must have communicated and it'll be another flag touch for blue don't even know how much flag touch they have gringo is running like hell to get out of here chris covering his defensive oh and but not on the good side gringo goes down by to andu one of those two guys is going to uh take the flag back i think it's calarreta Chris took a very defensive, uh, offensive position here, taking post in, in that house to uh, wait for his uh, team and still kill enemy, def uh, enemy uh, defensive positions here. He has access to all the flag here. Oh, can shoot Calatera. Calarreta, sorry. See, that's why they have to move in. They keep coming back. Oh, yeah, that defensive, that offensive position by by Chris is really, uh, really harsh. And he's covering his uh, his pal here. Callis is going to uh, go in. Nope. Doesn't think it's uh, clear enough. Yeah, he th he thinks there's someone in there, in the house. Doesn't even know his it, it's his uh, team uh, teammate. And Gringo captures the flag, but is taken down by defensive position here by Pumata. Oh, that was a weird move here. Pumata and Carlis reloading at the same time and missing them, miss, missing each other, sorry. And we've got another flag touch by uh, by Blue 4. Carlis is running, he's got no enemies on his, uh, on his rear. Carbiner is probably going to, uh, yeah, protect his retreat. But Andu still has pushed in the, the blue for a zone here but it's taken down by uh, blue defense let's see how uh, Carlis is doing still running back no one on his heels that's probably going to be a new uh, a new point here he's in bad shape must have uh, take took rounds in his retreat. Carbiner still uh, still covering the retreat. And it's a second point for Blue Four. For Una team. Well done Carlos. Carbiner still still in that uh, offensive position here like Chris did a few minutes ago. So we've passed half time here. 
Oh, that was a lag bug. Fell down into the canal here. <laughs> Saying no to uh, to his teammate. Saying, don't shoot me. <laughs> but taken down by uh, Red Fort Defense. Let's jump in with uh, Andu here. See how he's going to, to do defensive position here. Still getting flanked by Harry and Chris. Which are two blue for into this building. Harry's healing. Chris is uh, covering him uh, while he heals. Very nice positions here by uh, by Blue for the the they found the strategy to uh, to really destabilize the enemy. Looks like Wigbong is still. Oh, he's lagging like like a mad. Look at him; he's not doing anything. Looks like he's really lagging a lot. Got still. Uh, now we've got Frankie pushing in. They, they all take roles here to uh, take turns. Sorry. Oh shit! That is not good. Run, run, Frankie. He almost like exploded his own face with a grenade here. Nick's still in the defensive position here. And Carbiner is waiting for Frankie to get out of that building. He knows he's in there. Ooh. So let's see. So now combat is having. Uh, we've got big combat into uh, into that blue, f uh, red for a flag zone because of that defensive positions of uh, of red for. Nice grenade here by Pumata. Nice one by Carlis. Oh no, Chris, sorry. Chris has uh, taken position again in, in that building he was uh, a few minutes ago and, and really shaking off that red defense here, trying to, uh, to, to get him out of that building. He's really, really in a good position here. Pumata coming in. Let's see. Doesn't even know where he's coming from. Yeah, that's the problem. And now, red for flag is limpio, as you say in in Spanish. Yeah, blue for should have a, a flag touch here. They're rushing in. They know they can. They've got Chris. Protecting, uh, protecting them. Carbine are still in, the, in a defensive position here. Oh no, they already had the flag. Sorry, didn't even realize. And it's a third point here. Third point and another flag touch. Is it going to be a, a fourth? 
a fourth point. Point, sorry. I think it's Gringo has it. Yeah, he's rushing back. His pals are covering his retreat, occupying that red for a carbiner over there. Didn't take the risk to. Uh, Grenade out by Andu. Didn't do anything. And it's a fourth point here by Blue Four. Una team is really owning the f the the game in that offensive position here, and and they still taking that flag again. Is it going to be uh? Ooh, that was a grin uh, that was a, a rocket launcher, but he just shot his friend with it. So I think Pumata uh, intercepted the flag carry here. Yeah, he did. So flag carry down won't be a, fi a fifth point. Ooh, but we've got Gringo coming in, probably to get the flag back. He is. He saw it. Uh, and it's another flag touch, but he's intercepted here by Andu. And Andu brings it back. Nice one, Andu. Chris is still in that uh, in in that flag here. He's gonna capture it. Is he? No. Yeah, he is. Capturing the flag here. Oh, but he's going to encounter Andu. Nice one, Chris. That must have been that must have been a, an intense shots here, and Pumata knows he's in there and he is going to be sandwiched. Oh no! Too much stress here on up for uh, team, and Sparko takes the flag carry down. Nice one. Blue four was a bit slow. Coming back here. Okay, now they're in teams. They've they've taken the the whole position here. The whole uh, oh, nice grenade here by Andu. Before he dies. Yeah, they're taking the the whole. Um, The whole white here and and in a line, attacking in line. The defensive position by by Blue Four are pretty good. The problem here is that they don't do much more than than defend. I mean, it can be a strategy, but here they don't have the. Uh oh, nice! And it's a flag touch to uh, for Blue Four, for uh, uh, up four. Sorry. Oh, but the flag carry is uh, intercepted here by Gringo. Gringo is going to uh, bring the flag back. Looks like he's having problems to uh, bring that flag back. Is he finding the, <laughs> the interaction or not? And it's a flag touch for... Uh, Blue four, looks like Nick. They must have communicated because Nick is coming to help him. Oh no, he's not. Must have left that flag on the floor. There's a two-minute timer for the flag to uh, to despawn on a body, and Carbiner still has that. Uh, no, he doesn't anymore. Nice one, Andu. Oh, but intercepted here by Gringo. Gringo is probably going to... No, the flag is behind him and he didn't even see it. But he's taking people down really quick, so he's... And a second player, Carlos, just uh, went through... Oh no, they must have communicated here because Gringo is coming back and he knows where the flag is now. Capturing it again. 
Looks like he's got <laughs> some other, some more problems to interact. No, he made it. Oh, the little lag here. Oh, because but but he he's got uh, wiki bone on his uh, heels. But wiki bone is probably a bit slow to catch him up. And intercepted here by uh, Harry, covering his uh, his retreat. His friend's retreat. Nice moves here by Harry. He, he knows that he has to move fast between each shots. And Harry goes down to Sparko. By Sparko. And it's a fifth point. 14 flash flag touch with that. I don't even know if, uh, if Red Fork can still do something and it's the end of this first round I'll see you back into the second round in a few seconds welcome back to second phase here Entering the second phase of this uh, official ESM match. So teams have just uh, switched sides. So now we're we've got Una on the Red Four team and Koei team on the Blue Four side. It's gonna be hard for Koei to uh, catch up the uh, lack of points they have, but hopefully with uh, a Una team missing one player, they should eventually be able to uh, catch catch up the uh, the points. So now we're in the game for 30 minutes. Same as uh, in first phase, uh, Una team is rushing through the map really quickly. And I think that uh, Koei team must have discussed uh, the strategy because they are now in a uh, more offensive position here. Moving in fast too, but not as quick as the other team. Chris here is uh, flanking on the left. And is going to go completely round the map to try and flank them from behind. Yeah, they obviously changed something here because uh, two Koei, t two Koei uh, players have uh, rushed into the middle of the map. But we still have that Una team very offensive here. Carlos here in, uh, in, in that garage. Attacking anybody's... Uh, anybody that would be in defensive position here exchange of shot between uh, Frankie and Harry let's jump in with Nick who's in a uh, defensive position here looks like Una team just uh, popped a uh, smoke grenade and it's a uh, red flag touch by Gringo He's rushing back to uh, the flag on blue for his uh, left flank. Will he be intercepted? No. He's got Chris on the rear here, intercepting everybody chasing the flag carrier. And he's doing a pretty good job here. 
and there's no one on his uh, heels. Chris is still in that house, looking for anybody. Oh, right. So red uh, red flag was taken. So uh, now it's uh, fla uh, one flag touch for each team. But unfortunately, uh, the flag was uh, taken back, and it's a point for red for for the Una team. Nick, as in the first pos uh, first uh, part of the match, is into that uh, defensive position. Holding back. Looks like Gal uh, Galarreta is uh, a defensive uh, play too. Gringo rushing into action here. Moving in fast. He's probably going to encounter some heavy uh, defense here. Because we've got Frankie, Sparko, and Pumata here. I think he knows there's Pumata in that house. Oh yeah, he does. Oh, popped a grenade in there. Pumata has to get out. I don't think he... No, he didn't even know there was a grenade, so he... Just got shot. Nice defense here by Frankie, but got shot in the same exchange. And Wiki Bong, as in first phase, is uh, popping friendly shots here. That's the problem. Teams really have to uh, know what uniforms they have and what enemy uniforms they have. Chris here is um, popping his head through that barrier. No, he won't be able to uh, go through it. Well, I think it's Harry moving through the, the house here. Uh, Chris is having some problems crossing that rock barrier but and got shot down by, uh, by Sparko. Right, Harry has... Oh, he was intercepted by someone... Oh no, by his own team. By Collis. Too bad. Harry had a good position here. Could have done something cool. But Collis is still pressing in on his own. Probably doing a, bit, a good job here. Popping a grenade to cover himself. Hit no one. Oh, he's got Gringo too. So there are two of them. There's two of them. Oh, I think Pumata is in this in the bush here. Yeah, he definitely is in the bush. I think Pumata should have wa uh, waited a bit. Couldn't see him through the bushes. Probably going to pop his head. Yeah, popping his head. Oh, he he should have uh, pushed that a bit further. Gringo is still. Uh, he's he's being very cautious here. But there's Frankie and Wiki Bong in defense over there near the flag or behind the flag I don't remember right so Frankie got those two uh, very good defense here by Frankie got the two attack his but there's still Harry coming back Una team really looks like he's uh, they're um, pushing in hard they really want to put pressure on the other team
Nice. But Pumara is probably going to enter the building. Oh. Not, not, not fast enough. Harry's healing. He's on his own. And taken down by that defensive position by Spalko. Yeah, blue uh, blue team had that offensive uh, blow in the first part of this round. But now they're back into a defensive position and, and not doing much. Still Pumata in that defensive position. He's not moving from his uh from his uh house over there. And the others aren't either. Nice defense here, but uh yeah, as they're not moving in, they're not doing much. And Chris intercepted the only guy trying to flank. The only blue guy trying to flank. Okay, Carlis knows there's a defense over there. Popped a grenade. Is that going to be enough? Oh yeah, it was. Nice grenade here. Right. Yeah, he knows he has to be cautious here. And he knows where it's coming from. Spaco got him. Right, there's Harry, Gringo, probably Chris moving in again. Never stopping harassing the, the enemy. Chris took uh, one down, Harry another. It's down to three. Three versus uh, three or four, I think. Yeah, four. But blue four is coming in fast. If they've got to move, they've got to clear that blue defense really fast. As they're, they have, yeah, they have more than, uh, more than, like, something like five plays constantly in defense here so if you have to f to uh, capture that flag you really have to be uh, cautious and, and kill every defensive uh, pos uh, players before you do anything because you're always going to uh, encounter uh, a defense or, sh or somebody hiding in into a, a house or something Right, Gringo is is uh oh he knows there's Sparkle coming in and he got him. Always be listening for footsteps and another one. Oh, but there's defensive positions here. Frankie, that's their chance. The other two are in uh, offensive position, so it it's time. Oh, they still have someone. Oh, yeah. Okay. They weren't in uh, offensive position, I thought. But no, they were just in uh, a bit further. Waiting for them. Looking for them, probably. But it is a flag touch for uh, up four. And there's some heavy fire coming in here. Through the door, nice. While wow, the grenade didn't don't need the grenade. Oh, he blew himself up with his own grenade. Zoggy coming in. Oh, that's the sixth, sixth player that came in to complete the uh, up four team a few uh, a few minutes ago. We're nearly halfway, 
and there's still one zero for uh, for up four. Oh, they know they know they have to occupy buildings to keep that pressure. There's Pumata behind them. Chris is in the building. Uh, just in front the of the yeah. Pumata got him, I think. Oh no, Frankie. Okay. Oh, Frankie just threw a grenade. Oh no, it was uh, Gringo. Sorry, Gringo is uh, throwing a grenade to uh, to Pumata's position. Pumata is down by that grenade, by the way. Oh, but there is still Frankie in there, and it's a flag touch for uh, Op4 taking that flag. Carlis is going to stay in that house to keep that pressure and intercept anyone running behind the flag carrier. Oh, but he was intercepted by Sparko. Flag is returned. That was Carlos in that uh, defensive uh, house extension, uh, house extension uh, near the the blue flag. Andu flanking by their uh, Andu and Wigbong. Or oh, Wigbong really has that big lag here. Yeah, that's the problem with uh, with playing PvP. If you lag a bit, it becomes un unplayable. Oh, that could have been good. He should have uh, stayed behind that uh, that uh, tree here. And Carlis just uh, picked the flag up. Too much players here, but they have the uh, the flag touch. Right. We're one minute past half time. Blue flag was returned. Andu is uh, trying to flank again. Let's go in with Wigbong. Wikibong, sorry. He's um, on that bridge. Trying to keep that bridge, while Sparko, on his on his left, trying to move forward, but, but probably going to be uh, encountering that Carlis. Oh, he spotted him. Let's see if uh, he manages uh, to get him. Carlis taking cover behind that rock here. He knows he's in there. Pops a grenade, but got shot by Wikibon. Could have been nice, but uh, nice teamwork here by Blue Four. Looks like um, the Blue Four uh, Koei team doesn't really lack the skill more the, the the moves like they know how to shoot they know where to pop grenades but they don't know how to flank enemy by running around that buildings that was a smart move here but the problem is gringo knew there was someone and had the cover behind that wall
big shots here. Now it's uh, Frankie's turn to uh, flank the enemy and try to find a way around that big defense, doll, that big offense that Red Four is uh, pressing on them. Pretty weird because, uh, like in um, the first part of the of the, the first round, they are uh, really switching. Switching positions here, trying to find the right attacker to uh oh Wikibong is going to get intercepted here. Oh nice lag. Oh, and we had some friendly fire by Harry. And another flag touch for the Red Four. Probably an encounter. No, Frankie didn't even see him. Oh yes, he did. Right, nice backup here. Chris oc occupying uh, a building here in the middle of the map. Polly is moving in that canal here. Could have been a, a good uh, strategy by uh, Blue Ford to really put everything in defense. But the problem is, oh nice one by Andu, he's going to capture the flag, where is he going? Got intercepted by that grenade too bad. Could have been something, don't know why he backed up like that. Yeah, as I was saying, um, could, it could be a very good, def uh, could be a good strategy to put everything in defense and just like wait for the right, the, the random occasion to just like do at least one flag touch. But the problem is, as they're not defending correctly their flag, they're not getting that effect. And it's another flag touch for, for up for. Harry and Sparkle are not that far. They know there's. Oh, but there was a uh, gringo rushing, not hearing a sparkle move as he was prone, uh, not prone, uh, on his knees, whatever that's the word. Don't exactly know what Galarreta is doing, moving around uh, the flag here. Nice one by Sparko here. Spotted uh, uh, a red for across the canal. And didn't manage to intercept Gringo here. But is going to rush to uh, try to uh, get him around that house here. Oh, they know they're here. Oh, too bad. Due to a bit of lag here, uh, we've got a another encounter that could have been good, but uh, wow, Andu was really sandwiched here. Nick and uh, and Harry. 
harassing him. Oh no, it was Chris, sorry. See, another flag touch. Pumata's position is good, but the problem is he's not in, in a position to intercept anyone that would want to... Uh, and he's taken down. Uh, that would want to capture the flag. Wow, a whole magazine here. Carlos is really spraying. Oh, uh, another lag by Wikibong. I don't know what Chris is doing. Probably AFK. Same thing for Zogi. I don't blame them. Actually, Blue Fur isn't really moving in really fast, so. Guess it's only natural that they're uh, holding up again a bit. Harry is probably going to cross the canal. He's on his own on that side, I think. Oh no, he's got Gringo on the other side. Nice shots from Gringo. Probably going to be intercepted by Pumata, I think. No, Frankie is in that house. Watching that flag here. He knows somebody is going to get the flag. And he's waiting for him. Oh, Frankie shouldn't have uh, moved here. Oh, he did! Capture that, uh, bring back that flag. That was a smart move. Good. Problem is, there's still Carlos in that uh, flag area. Calareta coming back. There's no Pumata to cover the uh, the road here. Sparko is trying to push in. No, uh, what is he doing? Moving up that uh, construction. Trying to snipe or cover Wikibong. I don't know what he's doing. Didn't work. Anyways. Oh. There's Gringo just below him. Oh, he saw him. Nice defensive position, but the problem is... Now what do you do? Do you move in? Or stay there. Gringo probably didn't even see him, so... Right, and do moving in. From the right side. And got intercepted by Chris. There were two guys here. Got one, but got intercepted by the second. Right, I think that's Sparko again. Yeah, it is. He... Cho chose to, to move in and it's going to be a, a close shot here. Kalis heard him I think. Nice shot. Uh, Wikibong has to move here. He's not in a good position and effectively he got shot down. Andu knows there's someone near, but Chris is moving fast. He knows he doesn't have to, uh, he can't stay in that position here. <laughs> nice defensive pos uh, position by Pumata. I think he he uh, moved himself, thinking it, it could be a, a good idea to move closer. But that is still 
not much of a good cover here. As he's moving, it's easier to spot him. Chris is still intercepting every player coming out that spawn here. Yeah, see, Pumata went down. Not a very good uh, defensive position here, but you could say it's uh, well thought. Chris crossed the canal here and is doing the same thing, but uh, on this road here. Oh, he knows this Sparko just here. Popped a grenade. It's not going to be enough. Oh, and he got Wiki. I think it was no. Was it Wikibong? Who's that? Yeah, it was Wikibong. From the from the uh, the rear. And another flag touch for uh, up for Carlos again. Will it be another point? Carlos is staying in that house, knowing that he doesn't have the support here. And now Gringo is here. He can now move. I think he went down the canal here. Did he? Yeah, he did. got Sparko on his uh, on his heels and no support here apart from one red for across the canal I don't know even don't even know where he is oh yeah Pumata spotted uh, some some players over there and it's a second point for red for Una team scores uh, a second point here. Nine flag touch for his, uh, flag touches, sorry for uh, red for it, and two flag touches for blue for it. It's uh, you can say by now it's really impossible for them to uh, to catch. So this is the end of this uh, Una vs Koei team. Spanish team Koei lost, uh, I think, for 7 to nil. Uh, so that was a pretty intense match here. Uh, well done to uh, both sides. Uh, thank you for both sides for, for coming into this uh, tournament. Um, this was the quarter final. Sorry for uh, the first announcement I, I made. It wasn't the semi final, only the uh, second, uh, the uh, quarter final. Sorry. Um, and so next match will be HA versus uh, Una, then. Won't be able to uh, record that one, but. Uh, I hope that someone does on their teams. Uh, anyways, see you for the next video. Bye-bye.